What do you think is the single biggest impediment to greater progress on diversity in our industry? And there's a whole range of choices. Please don't all go for seven other, because we won't have any insights at that point. Um, but hopefully uh, there's one there that you think is a single large impediment. So if you can vote now. Wow, I think that's pretty overwhelming. So um, you'll be interested to know we have identified a trend now. Um, in 2016, culture won, 32% uh, thought that that was the single biggest impediment. Last year, over just over 40%, and now um, over half of you think that. So I think that's a pretty clear signal. Um, now, of course, achieving greater and faster progress on both diversity and inclusion uh, is something that requires societal change, industry change, and of course change at our own companies. Diversity Project is obviously focused on the industry piece, and so um, the first thing to draw attention to is the fact that we now have 50 organizations who are members of the Diversity Project, which is a tremendous um, commitment. Uh, everyone's working in a very joined up collaborative way. Those are 50 very highly engaged members. And we currently have some, an extra mountain or two to climb. We know that our issue around diversity is not just about gender, but of course the recent publication of Gender Pay Gap for larger companies has shown that we stand out in a bad way uh, across all sectors in the country, um, almost a 30% average salary gap um, and al almost, well, 67%, two thirds um, average bonus gap. Now we know this is because we don't have enough women in senior roles, um, but that's clearly not an excuse. It is a reflection on the fact that we don't have great diversity, even gender diversity at the senior levels in our organizations. And the problem is it is something of a chicken and egg problem. Um, several, a couple of years ago, the 30% Club, and we have some members of the 30% Club uh, here today, um, conducted a survey of students across 21 universities in Britain. Uh, over 20,000 completed um, a survey in their own rooms that wasn't kind of being uh, pressured to answer questions in a certain way. And roughly half and half men and women the only material difference between the answers that male students gave and female students gave was that the women, over half of them, said that they would be put off from entering a sector that they regarded as male-dominated, um, whereas the men, it wasn't an issue when they were thinking about their future careers. Um, but the reality is a lot of people who are from di uh, underrepresented groups say there's still a sense of sort of being treated n nicely rather than actually feeling they bring something extra to the equation, that we are not still embracing the idea of diversity of thought and improving collective intelligence in our teams, which is infinitely more powerful ultimately as a business case. Now, what I hope today is that we do move to a sense of urgency that we're not beating ourselves up on the fact that we're still making rather slow progress, but we are moving on from what I would describe as sort of early mindset, which has been based, I think, on just having sort of one of this, one of that. And what we are moving towards is a bigger rethink, an overhaul of all of our um, ways at which we recruit, encourage, promote, attract, and retain talent. I do think we need to have a more sophisticated approach. We need to have bolder ambition.